Hi everybody, I'm so glad to have you with me here on the farm today. Today we're talking about what you can do Hi, with all of those eggs. We understand that having backyard chickens is becoming a more and more popular hobby and even a way of life. So here's some ideas to really utilize those eggs and make some of that money back that you spend on owning chickens because it can get expensive. One of the main things we like to do with our eggs is hatch them out into chicks. But if you are not interested in doing the hassle of hatching or keeping chicks, let's talk about your options. So first off, if you are able to have a rooster, even if you do not want to hatch out your own chicks, you can then sell hatching eggs with not too much extra hassle. So the way you do this is you collect your eggs. We only keep our hatching eggs up to five days. While you keep these eggs, they need to be tilted at an angle and then turned two to three times a day. So I have a video about that specifically if you want more t details about keeping hatching eggs for the best hatch rates. So then the other option is obviously selling them at the store. Please at least sell them for what the store is selling them for. One more thing that we sometimes use our eggs for is we have a really fantastic coffee shop in town and he will take eggs as payment and it's one of our favorite places to go. Then, of course, there are so many great egg recipes because if you don't leave enough eggs for you and your family to enjoy, then I truly don't know why you would even have chicken. So today I'm gonna share three of our favorite recipes that we do all the time, other than, obviously, we do a breakfast for dinner almost every week. So we go into the grocery store, I ask Abby, what do you want the meat to be? And then we either do biscuits or pancakes or something, but it'll be sausage and bacon and scrambled eggs, and we have that basically once every week. So the breakfast you saw there was the egg in a hole, and as you can tell, we really loved it. So the next recipe I'm going to make is egg salad. So this recipe is going to start with boiled water, which I am going to add baking soda to, and I will tell you why here in just a little bit. So as I was adding my eggs to the simmering water, I realized I didn't have as many as I wanted, and I was gonna need to pull out some of my water glassed eggs, which I was really excited to do. These are from October, and if you want to see the full video of how to water glass and preserve your eggs, I will leave the link. While the eggs boil, I'm going to go ahead and get started on some of the ingredients for my next recipe, which is going to be a quiche. So this quiche is going to have bacon and butternut squash. So I love this combination in a quiche, but you can use almost anything in your quiche. That's my favorite part about them. One of my favorites is to put bacon, obviously, but I love leeks, broccoli, cheese, potatoes, almost any kind of vegetable with a, I usually include a meat. Really the only thing you kind of have to stay away from is anything that produces too much water. But I have even seen people put tomatoes in very thinly sliced, very padded dry tomatoes into their. So back to those eggs. Now guys, I'm about to share with you one of the beautiful reasons that I married my husband. I start pouring cold water on the eggs so that they will cool enough that I can touch them. So I pull them out and I put a small amount of water in a glass jar. Once I do that, I put the egg in and I swirl it. You can't really tell, You may just look, it may just look like I am just banging it inside of that glass or I'm just breaking it inside of that glass 
but I am actually trying to rotate it quickly. It gets in between the membrane and the actual egg. The goal is to get water to break the shell and then get a little bit of water in between the shell, the membrane, and the egg. This way, once you get underneath that membrane and that shell, it should slip right off the egg. By the time I was done with that, my bacon and my butternut squash were baked. Of course, I don't know exactly how long they baked. It was however long it took me uh, to peel all of the eggs. Um, my cooking is not super exact, you guys. So then um, I'm gonna start making egg salad. One of the things I really love to do is cut down on the mayo, or which is avocado. Then I add all that was left over of a pickle relish jar and all of the juice. I don't show it here, but I then cut up some garlicky pickle spears and put it in because if it doesn't literally taste like we're eating a pickle, my husband doesn't want it. <laughs> Of course, in between lunch and finishing my next recipe, I had to get a little duck out of its shell who was adhered to the membrane of its egg. So now for the rest of my quiche ingredients. I add a whole can of evaporated milk. Add as many eggs as you'd like to this recipe, but basically I'm adding the bacon, any kind of cheese I happen to have on hand, the butternut squash, salt and pepper, and then I bake it for an hour. And it came out beautiful. And as you can tell, we all loved it. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and go ahead and hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications for the next video that we put out. Bye guys.